Meanwhile, Democrats and Republicans are coming together to condemn the assassination attempt on former President Trump during a rally over the weekend. Now, that includes uh, our state leaders who are speaking out against the shooter's actions. Now, several of them spoke with 12 News reporter Sheena Lushuto, who has the latest now from Providence. Sheena. Well, Rhode Island's congressional delegation is made up of four Democrats. Today, they're sharing a similar message together. Violence like this has no place, no matter what you believe in. The lawmakers representing Rhode Island and the nation's capital say this weekend's events do not reflect the foundations of our country. In a democracy, violence has no place. What divides us should never separate us to the point of violence. And reflection is among the actions people are calling for. Members of Rhode Island's congressional delegation condemn Saturday's assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. Many have openly and vocally criticized the Republican in the past. And I'm hopeful that this marks a change in tone and tenor uh, around our politics. There is no place for violence uh, in our politics. We may disagree. Uh, on things, on substantive issues, but that is not uh, a cause for what we saw, and I hope that we all take this moment to pause and reflect and move forward together as a country where we should be. The shooter's motive remains unclear tonight. Um, it's not about Republican or Democrat. It's about a person. And we, do, despite political affiliation, we never want to see anybody's life targeted. Rhode Islanders at the Republican National Convention say the energy within the party is only growing. Joe Powers with the Republican Party of Rhode Island says he's hearing this from undecided voters, pointing to the clip of the former president putting his fist in the air. And they all pretty much said to me, we're going with Trump right now because we see the resilience of who he is and exactly what it is he's going to bring to the to the office once again, which is strength. And only hours after the shooting on Saturday, I spoke one on one with Congressman Seth Magaziner. He also shared a similar message that violence like that should not occur. He also says it would, quote, be a mistake for anyone to try and score any political points from that shooting. Reporting live in Providence tonight, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News. Local Trump supporters say energy is growing within the party following the shooting, many calling the former president resilient. Now, business was also good at the New England for Trump store over in Warwick. They decided to open up today, despite usually being closed on Mondays. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo spoke to people there and continues our coverage for us now in Providence. If there's just one image that's really sticking with people following the shooting, it's the moments right after when Donald Trump puts his fist in the air. That image has become so widely known that the Trump store in Warwick is taking pre-orders for it to be on a t-shirt. Local Donald Trump supporters react to his assassination attempt as the former president prepares to give his nomination acceptance speech at the RNC on Thursday. I was, I was very shaken up. It was, uh, I couldn't believe it was happening. I thought that, you know, like after everything that had happened back in the 60s. Employees at the New England for Trump store say business was booming on Sunday following the shooting at the rally in Pennsylvania. Henry Gardner of Cumberland says the assassination attempt and the moments that followed are bringing people together. He's trying to changes uh, speech around for Thursday night to make sure that we're talking about the unifying this country once again, something that uh, Biden had promised and failed to do so on. Uh, when he's already got money, he's already got everything he wants, and, and still he's going to put his life at risk for the country. I mean, what else do you have to say? Meanwhile, our congressional delegation, often critical of the former president, is also condemning the violence. In a democracy, violence has no place. There is no place for violence in our country in a democracy. I think we're all grateful that uh, former President Trump was survived and also saddened that uh, innocent people were killed. And we're told there will also be a Trump rally at the store in Warwick. Organizers expect a large turnout following the shooting. Reporting in Providence, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.